Welcome to this week's uh, spelling words. It looks like we're going to do some Latin roots today. So let's see what we got. Make sure we've got our stuff. All right. Make sure you have your beautiful glue. I forgot to stick my pencil in there. So make sure you've got your pencil ready because we're going to do some writing. Scissors so you can cut out your words. Make sure you've got your... Ooh, looks like in my... Uh, Zip top bag, I got some words in there from last week. I better get rid of those. All right, since I've got them all written in my spelling book that you're going to need, make sure you have that ready. All right, and don't forget your spelling words. So, let's get to cutting. All right, so it looks like, as I look at the top up here, it looks like we're going to do some Latin roots. Um, ooh, oops, I cut off the S on there. I think I'll survive on that, though. Looks like we're going to be doing some interesting words because they actually have two different spellings, but they're meaning the same thing. That's what is right, and so we got to cut off this top up here. And like I was saying, we've got some words here, flecked and flex, miss and mitt. We're going to have to look at those because... There's specific things that happen. They actually mean the same thing, but in some um, situations in our language, it gives a form of, um, how do I say it, um, kind of a unpredictability? Should, or no, I shouldn't say unpredictability, because it's predictable what's going to happen, and I'm going to show you what it is. But what's interesting about it is that it is a, an unusual situation um, when we put those together. So we'll look at these. All right. So make sure that you're cutting your words out. You can either cut them out before. You can cut them out while I'm cutting them out. Hopefully you're about as fast as I am. Because if you are, it'll only take you about, if you look at the time, we're about two minutes in as I've been cutting. Maybe a little bit longer, but I figure you should be able to cut out your words and get them all put into uh, out around in probably about three minutes. So, all right. So let's see what we got here. I'm just trying to get all these written and make sure you put all your words out so you can see them all. That makes it so much easier as we are trying to write our words because I want you to find the word and I want you to pick it up. I want you to put it kind of like what I do and I want you to write it just like I do. That way you have all the words down. All right. So let's take this title that we have up here and let's put that up at the very top and then we'll look at what we got. Looks like we're looking at Latin roots, like I said before, and it looks like we're doing fract, flect, flex, these two are similar, ject, miss, and mit. All right, so as we talk about these different things, we'll, uh, we'll write them down. We've got to find out what they mean, though, also. So let's look at here. We're going to write this out. I like to leave a couple lines, because this one we're going to write our definition this one, we're going to write our word. So let's write fract, underline it. This is what I want you to do with these, though. I want you to kind of split them up a little bit. We're going to go flect, slash, flex. Oops, i got to put that L in there. And I need you to underline that, because we're going to actually write them down that way also. Then we're going to go ject, and then miss, slash, mit. All right? So I want you to get those down that way a little bit. And you'll, I, I don't like to cut these exemplars out, because if I do, then I have to write them up and, and I don't get them even. But if you do them this way, then you'll get them even on your page. All right? Everybody understand that? Beautiful. Let's get those cut out and put into your zip-top bag, ready for the rest of your words once you get finished with it. All right, so put those in there. And let's get to our uh, writing here. All right, so let's look and see what some of these words mean by looking at some of the words that we're going to be talking about. 
So let's start about, well, let's start with fract. Let's start with fract. So I got fracture, fracture. What is a fracture? What is a fracture? It is a almost a broken arm, right? So we're going to call this to break. So when you fracture something, it is breaking something, okay? So fracture, we're going to underline that. Interesting, interesting. Let's see if I've got another word or, well, you know what, let's, let's move on. Let's, let's go to flect and, no, let's go to fracture. I got, because this is a good one. Because we use this one all the time, don't we? Fraction, frac chun. So we're going to be underlining that. So let's look at fraction. And what do fractions do? Fractions look like this, don't they? One over two. So what are we doing? We're actually breaking it up. We're breaking a whole number into pieces. So half is broken something in that, so if we got a circle and we cut it in to two pieces, See, there's my two. That's how many pieces I've got on here. And if I only shade in one, I've broken this whole thing into two pieces, and I'm only talking about one. So that was a fraction to break. Isn't that interesting? We're doing a little math when we're doing language. Wow, interesting. All right, so let's look. At, you know what? I'm going to skip this one for a second, just for a second. Let's go over to ject, ject. And let's talk about reject, reject. When you reject something, what do you do? You don't want it anymore, right? But this is interesting because when we reject, it is actually re means what? What does re mean? To do again or uh, once more um, behind so we do it again, we go back, and we do it again. We go back. So when I reject something, I'm sending it back. Or I am, ject means to throw. To throw. So I'm throwing it back. So to reject something means I'm throwing it back. Sweet. Interesting. Um, let's look at, oh, this is my favorite one right here because I love watching movies. So let's do projector. So what does pro mean? What does pro mean? Pro um, actually means supporting, I guess, or uh, um, on behalf of. So we're, we're throwing... What are we throwing when we use a projector? We're throwing motion forward, um, away. We're throwing away. No, that doesn't. That's not what pro means, isn't it? Um, it's uh, basically throwing the picture up on the board. A projector is something that throws something on the uh, the screen, I guess you could say. So when we talk about a projector, we're talking an object that is projects or throws light up onto a screen. Oop, we better unline that, underline that. So that's what a projector does. Let's move on. Let's see what. Do, oh, we got to do this one. I, I've got another one we got to do because there's. So where is it? Do you see any of it over here? I guess you don't know what I'm talking about, do we? Let's talk about object, okay? Object. So when I object to something, I am throwing what? I am throwing what? What am I throwing? Anybody know? Anybody know? When I throw something. I'm actually throwing something open. Um, I, and when I do an object shun, because shun actually means the nature of throwing 
against. I'm throwing something. And what I'm throwing against the act or result of throwing something is I'm throwing a verbal point against somebody. I'm objecting to what's going on. Isn't that interesting? All right, we better get to these other two words because we're I, I'm really wasting time on this. Okay, let's go to transmit. Here's transmit. When I transmit something, I'm sending something over or across because trans means across. Mit and miss actually means to send. So I'm sending something. When I transmit something, I'm sending something across like wires or wireless, something like that. And what's interesting is when I do transmit, to do transmiss, when I change the T to an S, and it actually makes it trans... Oh, you know what? We better cross that out. Cross it out. Let's go underneath it. Transmission. And the interesting thing is, is that when we go transmit... When I add an I-O-N to it, what happens is I have to change that T to a double S and add an I-O-N. And that's kind of like what I was saying a little earlier, that it's a little interesting that it is a, um, oh, what do you call that? Uh, it's it's um, unusual. That's what I'm trying to say. It's unusual, but it happens. It's predictable because every time you see a T, then it's going to do that. So when I look at another word, let's do permit. Permit. When I do the S, I put permission. There it is again. I change that T to an e double S and I add the I-O-N. So whenever you have an MIT at the end, all you have to do is change it to a double S, and you're good. All right, so let's do a reflect. Reflect. And flect actually means to... Oops, where's my... Oh, sorry. I moved my paper. I'm weird. Flect or... Flex actually means bend. So when I reflect, I'm bending it again. So I'm it bounces off of something, so it bends again. So that's what a reflect. And a reflection is the act of bouncing that back. So, and then we've got reflex is a bending back again type of a thing. So when I have a reflex, it, I automatically do go, go back to something. So, interesting. Um, so what I need you to do is finish these words up. Go ahead and write all the, ex, the rest of the words on. I want you to just pay attention to this M-I-T-M-I-S about the transmit transmission and think about that. Because that'll help you in some of your spelling stuff that you're doing. All right? Get this done, and we'll talk to you later. Make sure you get your work all done. Write it all out. Make sure you're cutting it all up. All right. See ya.